What is going on guys? Sterling here and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up your WooCommerce store to skip that cart process. Having a cart management is really nice, but it can be a couple extra clicks and a couple extra steps. So if in some cases you want to skip that, I'm going to show you how to set that up and we're going to do it using two methods. Number one is going to be a function, a little less functionality. And number two is going to be a plugin that we built called WooCommerce Skip Cart Pro. So we'll take a look at both those. Number one, let's get into this function. Hey guys, so we're gonna be adding a script to our website um, and we can do that using the code snippets plugin or I'm gonna be using advanced scripts as you can see here. Uh, and I will have a link to advanced scripts in the, in the description below if you wanna go and learn more about that. If not, uh, feel free to use code snippets. So basically we are just adding a filter and we are going to filter our add to cart redirect and then we're going to redirect it to our WooCommerce cart checkout URL. So you don't have to edit anything here. This should work out of the box. You don't have to tweak this script at all. Let's just save and activate. And then we'll go take a look on the front end. We'll test this out. So let's go to our store. So here we are in our store. Let's find a product that we can just add to our store. So I'm going to add the beanie. So let's click add to cart. And now instead of going to my cart, it's going to actually take me directly to my checkout page. So you can see how that works. There is now no cart process. Um, it takes me right to my checkout. So uh, the, the downside of this is that you're not going to be able to really control uh, each and every product. And that if you do want somebody to be able to manage their cart, um, that's not going to, it's not gonna be what they're gonna be able to do with this. So let's add another one just to, uh, just to show. So we'll add the cap to our cart as well. If I click view cart, it's gonna take us to the checkout page. So it works as it should. It allows us to cut down the steps before people get to the checkout page. And that's good. But now that we have seen this method, let's uh, let's take a look at our plugin. So I'm just going to come back to my script and I'm going to turn the script off. So that is not happening anymore. And then let's go and we'll look at the default functionality real quick. So let's go back to our home. So this is without that script active. And then we'll just add the sunglasses to our site. We'll click view cart and it's going to take me to my cart page where I can see all of my products in the card, I can apply coupons, see my shipping, and then I have to proceed to checkout. So now let's go back to uh, to our plugin. So now let's take a look at the WooCommerce Skip Cart Pro. We're gonna come to WooCommerce, we're gonna come down to Skip Cart, and we're gonna have some really uh, cool functionality here. You just, once you get a license key, just put your license key in there. And then we have rules that we can create so let's create a skip rule and the and the benefit here is that we don't have to we can we can create it globally and just apply it to all of our products we don't have to we can select a specific product so if we're not going to apply this globally we can select whether we want to apply it to a product or to a specific product category so maybe we have a product category that doesn't need to have the cart it's a single purchase item we could do that we can even target our products uh, just by putting it in here so let's just say hoodie so we'll do the hoodie as our test product and then we'll do the cap as well hoodie and cap we'll add those in there and then we could see type of, of checkout page we could leave it to default or we could set a handsome checkout and then we're going to be able to select our specific handsome checkout page that we've set up to work with this for this example let's just leave it at default and then we can change our add to cart button we really don't want it to say add to cart we want to say uh we could say Head to checkout. We'll just say that just for this example, just so you guys can see what what uh, what this looks like. Now let's save this. So here we are on our shop page, guys. We're going to come down to our hoodie. So I think it is right here. We're going to click. Now you can see that this checkout page says instead of saying add to cart, it says head to checkout. Now of course we don't have. We could make this say whatever we want. Buy now, uh, checkout, uh, purchase, or whatever we want. But I'm going to click into this product, and then I'm going to be able to select my color. And then I'm going to be able to uh, select my other options. I click head to checkout and it's going to take me directly to my checkout page versus taking me to that cart page. Now let's head back and actually set this up to use a handsome checkout page. Now handsome checkout is another one of our plugins. It allows you to add themes and to customize your checkout page and add lots of different checkout pages. Um, and I'll just show you real quick. So we've created one called my handsome checkout. If I view it, you can see that I've got a red hoodie in there. And it has a nice looking template. We can add testimonials and trust seals and all kinds of really awesome stuff. So uh, step checkouts and all kinds of really cool stuff. So anyway, let's head back to our skip cart pro. We're going to edit this guy. And for the demo, we'll just be using the hoodie. So let's just get rid of the cap. We're going to come down to a handsome checkout and then we're going to select 
my handsome checkout because that's the one I just showed you. And then we could say, we'll just change our button text to say purchase. There we go. Now we will save our changes. And then we'll go back to the front end to check this out. Here we are back on the shop page. Let's scroll down to our hoodie. Now you can see it says purchase. I'm gonna click purchase and it's gonna take me to my page. I'll select my color variant, click purchase again. And now I'm gonna be redirected to my handsome checkout page instead of being redirected to my default checkout page. So very cool. Uh, we're able to not only skip that cart process, but we're able to use and utilize uh, handsome checkout even more fully. So super cool. They kind of work well together, guys. And that is about it. So if you would like to have the Skip Cart Pro plugin, head to our website. I actually put a link down below and you can go and request access to that plugin and we can get you access to that for free. Um, if you have any other questions, be sure to comment those in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to learn about any of our other plugins, I'll have links to all of those down below, namely One Click Upsell and Handsome Checkout. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching once again. Just subscribe and like as that really helps us out, and I will see you in the next video.